If you use a spreadsheet to store your VAT transactions, you can submit VAT returns with Making Text Digital with just a tiny change. All you need is to digitally link your transaction record to your VAT return. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Firstly, open your current spreadsheet. This should contain a record of your transactions. Your spreadsheet might look different to this example, that's okay. What you really need are the totals for the period. To set up the VAT return, add a new worksheet and call it VAT return. Then copy in the example VAT return from one click accounts. You can get this if you log in, click submit a VAT return and then download the example CSV. This matches the original 9box VAT return that you're used to from HMRC. I'll show you what it looks like right here. Copy the return to your spreadsheet. Now let's link the boxes digitally to your existing spreadsheet. Just to keep things simple, we're assuming you have no sales or purchases with the EC, so for the purposes of this tutorial, we're ignoring boxes 2, 8 and 9. Box 1 is the total VAT due on sales in the period. So click the box and then type equals. Then select your sales worksheet. Select the total VAT due on sales in the period and press enter. Box 2 is the total VAT due on EC acquisitions. If you've bought items from the EC, this box should show the total tax due on your acquisitions but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're not including EC sales or purchases here. Box 3 is the total of boxes 1 and 2. Select box 3 and press equals. Select box 1. Type plus. Then select box 2 and press enter. Box 4 is the total VAT reclaimed on purchases in the period. Select box 4 and then type equals. Then select the purchases worksheet. Select the total VAT reclaimed on purchases in the period and press enter. Box 5 is the difference between the biggest and smallest numbers in boxes 3 and 4. Select box 5, then type equals, abs, open bracket, then select box 3, then press minus, then select box 4, and close your bracket, and press enter. Box 6 is the total UK sales net of VAT in the period. Select box 6 and then press equals. Then select your sales worksheet. Select the net sales figure for the period. And press enter. Box 7 is the total UK purchases net of VAT. Select box 7, then type equals. Then select the purchases worksheet. And select the net purchases figure for the period. And press enter. If you had EC sales or purchases, boxes 8 and 9 would be used to report those and you'd link them to your worksheet in the same way. And now you're done. You've now created a VAT return with a standard VAT scheme and it's ready to be submitted to HMRC. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually submit this to HMRC using Making Text Digital.